Hello students. In this session, we are going to discuss about general introduction, importance of organic chemistry and general characteristics of organic compounds. Organic chemistry is the chemistry of carbon compound, except the oxides of carbon and metal carbonates. Carbon has unusual property to form the strong bond with many other elements and uh, due to that they forms long chain and rings and that gives to the number of organic compounds. The term organic it derived from the living organism. Science of organic chemistry is about 200 years old and in 18th century the organic chemistry was considered to be the study of compound extracted from the living organism and the compounds like sugar, starch, urea, and plant oil were considered as an organic compound. And in 1815, scientist Berzelius, a Swedish chemist, he proposed that vital force. That vital force means that force which is present only in the living uh, things, living organisms, and that was responsible for the formation of organic compound. And this organic compound or organic chemistry was the study of compound formed due to the vital force. While inorganic chemistry was the study of rocks, minerals, and gases. And the compounds that could be made from them in the laboratory. But uh, in 1828, scientists uh, Friedrich Holler synthesized urea and many organic and uh, inorganic compounds in lab. And he showed that ammonium cyanide, when heated, it gives urea. And before this discovery, it was thought that organic compounds could be produced only by the living beings, only due to the vital force they are produced. But by this uh, creating uh, urea in lab by using the inorganic compound, and uh, this was the discovery for the synthesis of this organic compound in lab. And he proved that only not only the vital force is responsible for the formation of organic compound. He first made aluminum, beryllium, crystalline boron, and silicon, calcium carbide. And uh, also he gives the, uh, he also realized the analogy between the carbon and silicon. So now see this is the reaction for the formation of urea. In 1828, the scientist Friedrich Holler, he synthesized urea by using the uh, inorganic compound, ammonium cyanide, NH4CNO, on heating, it form NH2C double bond O, NH2. Okay, this is the organic compound and urea. So that uh, these are the parameters of comparison between the organic and inorganic compound. The first point is about the percentage of carbon or the presence of carbon. Organic compound contain only, mainly the more percentage of carbon, whereas inorganic, inorganic compound contain less percentage of carbon. And uh, they are distinguished due to the presence of carbon are more in the organic compound. Uh, this uh, reactivity for the organic compound is considered to be the more reactive and they are extremely flammable. Whereas inorganic compounds are naturally non-volatile and uh, also not uh, flammable. Organic compounds occur in the gaseous, liquid and solid state. But inorganic compounds occur only in the solid state. Organic compounds are present mainly in the living organism. They are uh, present or the, what we can say they are obtained from the, mainly from the nature, that is from the plants and animals. So this is the occurrence for the organic compound. And uh, for the inorganic compound, they majorly uh, occur in non-living organism. About the melting point and boiling point of these organic compounds, uh, they show the characteristics property of the melting and uh, boiling point that each and every organic compounds are identified according to their melting and boiling points. And the pure compound, they show the correct melting and boiling point. And uh, for this inorganic compound, as compared to the organic compound, they show the lower boiling point and melting point. So this is just comparison between the organic and inorganic compounds. <coughs> Next point is about the importance of organic chemistry. The field of organic chemistry is very vast and uh, it requires more and uh, now seeing that each and every field is related to the organic chemistry. And uh, it's uh, that importance of organic chemistry is just like the describing the drop of water in a mighty ocean. That few of the industrial applications we are going to discuss here and uh, these applications of organic chemistry which are in our day-to-day -day life. 
organic chemistry uh, uh, or the field of organic chemistry is related with the different uh, fields or different industry like in the food industry in the dye in the textile fertilizers the organic compounds are used now see the organic chemistry means it is a study of carbon compounds Car organic compound means the study of carbon compounds and these carbon compounds are used in the different industries in the pharmaceutical industry cosmetic and perfume industry not only this one again there are the number of industries where these organic compounds or the car carbon compounds are used in the food okay what you can say that uh, com carbon compounds are related with the food industry as the carbohydrate fats proteins all these are the carbon containing compounds as well as the sweetening and flavoring agents of the and the food products like milk all these are the organic compounds and the variety of chemicals are added to the into the food like preservative flavoring agent color antioxidants and so that food it made more attractive and increase its shelf life so the role of carbon is very important in the uh, food industry uh, sodium benzoate it is a important example which is used as a preservative in the food or as well as the salt of sorbic acid propanic acid these are also used as a preservatives whereas butyrated hydroxytoline these are the chemicals okay where the as these are used as a antioxidants means antioxidants which retards the deterioration of food bha that is a butyrated hydroxy anisole so2 or and sulfide these are used as a antioxidants so what we can see here the carbon compounds play very important role in the food industry in the petroleum industry lpg liquefied petroleum gas gasoline kerosene these are the organic compounds are used in the petroleum industry synthetic drugs like aspirin antipyrin sulfa drugs antibiotic antiseptic vitamins all these are the medicines which are regularly used by the human being and these are related with the carbon compounds and therefore the carbon compounds play very important role in the pharmaceutical industry natural and synthetic dye like indigo cocaine Uh, these are the dyes and they are prepared by using these organic compounds and uh, uh, fluorescent uh, azo dyes these are also example for this dye and uh, all they have the very uh, these dyes having a uh, organic background in the plastic industry for the preparation of polyvinyl chloride polythene bakelite uh, see these are the polymers and these polymers are prepared by using the monomers and these monomeric units are organic molecules by using these monomers all the monomers they contain organic compounds and therefore the role of these organic chemistry is very important in the dye and plastic industry in the textile industry carbon compounds also play very important role the manufacture of nylon fibers terylene fiber rayon they are the synthetic not only the synthetic these are the synthetic and artificial fibers as well as natural fibers like cotton silk they are also they are organic in nature means by using the chemicals which contain the carbon synthetic fibers are prepared and we get the cotton silk these are the natural fibers and these are also contain the carbon means the role of these uh, organic compounds is very important in the preparation of or what you can say in the manufacture of these fibers carbon compounds are used as a fertilizers and uh, cosmetics and perfume industries means uh, urea it is a important organic compound used as a fertilizers whereas the cosmetics perfumes creams talcum powder all these are the organic compound means what you can see here the basic component uh, basic compound used in the in the preparation of this fertilizer cosmetic is carbon now we are going to discuss about the some general characteristics of organic compounds these are the general properties of organic compounds uh, by these properties organic compounds are identified there are types of linkage catenation isomerism polymerization uh, solubility melting and boiling point odor functional group 
combustibility and homologous series these are the important properties by which we can say ha yeah these are the organic compounds as are all these organic compounds <clears throat> but this is a characteristic odors means uh, esters it is a very important class of organic compound they have the sweet and pleasant odor whereas carboxylic acid have pungent odor aldehydes and ketone have peculiar odor and uh, amines are with the fishy odor means these organic compounds are recognized by their odor all the organic compounds contain carbon and the other elements present they may be the hydrogen oxygen halogen sulfur but the main component of these organic compound is carbon but with this they contain sulfur phosphorus nitrogen and all these organic compound contain covalent linkage in their structure see this is the type of linkage which is present in the methane the bond between carbon and hydrogen it is formed by the sharing of this pair of electron and therefore such type of covalent linkage is present in this organic compounds catenation it is a important property shown by this organic compound and the ability of the carbon atom to combine with another to form the long chain branched chain and ring structure is called as the catenation and due to that property it form more complex structures see this is a straight chain structure it form the long chain of this uh, carbon atom or it form the branch chain these are the closed chain structure or ring chain structure so that due to that ability of that carbon atom to form the long chain or to form the bonding with the another carbon atom and due to that they form the number of organic compounds with their different structure so this is about the catenation isomerism the property of organic compound and what is isomerism compounds having same molecular formula but different structural formula are called as isomeric are called as isomers and this property of organic compound is known as isomerism see here this is the for the butane okay, which having the formula c4 carbon number this 1 2 3 4 and hydrogen 10 so these all these carbon atoms are in a straight chain this is the name for this butane and butane normal butane and one of the carbon atom it is in the branch structure so it form iso structure iso butane means both these formula having the same molecular formula c4h8 c4h10 okay both having the same molecular formula c4h c4 and h10 okay and uh, therefore uh, as the molecular formula is same but they show the different structural formula and therefore these are called as the isomers of each other see so this is the molecular formula for the pentane c5h12 this is the one structure in which all these carbon atoms are in a straight chain normal pentane one of the carbon atom is on the straight chain so it form the branch structure and it form the name isopentane iso means one carbon atom is attached to other three carbon atom and one hydrogen this structure is called as the iso in normal structure each carbon atom is bonded with other two carbon atom and two hydrogen this is the normal structure so pentane isopentane and as now see here the number of carbon atom is increases it shows one more possible structure here the one carbon atom is attached to other four carbon atom okay and that's one carbon atom which is not attached with the other hydrogen atom so this structure is called as the new structure and this in the structure five carbon atom so this is the formula for the new pentane so compound having the same molecular formula c5h12 but it shows the different structure this property is called as isomerism and uh, very important property shown by these organic compounds polymerization means the large number of small organic molecules means monomers combine together and they form high molecular weight compound this is called as the polymer and the process is known as polymerization see here the example ethylene it is a monomer we are taking here one unit of ethylene and we are taking that ethylene one unit is called as a monomer and you are taking here the number of monomers many number of monomers so it forms a long chain of this polythene so this is the preparation of polythene by using the monomer of ethylene so that process is called as the polymerization property of organic compounds all organic compounds are generally insoluble in water but they get soluble in the organic solvents like ethers alcohol benzenes 
this ether alcohols benzene these are the inorganic solvents in which it gets very easily soluble for that we can just remember here that like dissolves like means these organic compounds are tend to dissolve well in the solvent that have similar property to themselves means what we can see here that uh, molecules which are generally dissolve uh, that polar molecules will generally dissolve in the polar solvent and non polar molecules will generally dissolve in the non polar solvents means polar molecule dissolve into the polar solvent and non polar molecule dissolves into the non polar solvents so like dissolves like <clears throat> so this is about the solubility of organic compounds functional group means organic compounds are characterized by this functional group an atom or group of atom which determine its chemical properties called as the function group see here the example was for the alcohol alcohol is having the formula roh means oh it is the functional group and due to that they are recognized that these are the alcohols as the property of these alcohols are determined by by the presence of this oh group that oh group is called as a function group like that ethers they contain the functional group o and the general formula ror means this is a divalent oxygen is function group for the ethers for aldehydes CHO CHO is a functional group so what we can see here that each and every organic compound having its own specific functional group which determines the property of that organic compound for the carboxylic acid c double bond o oh is all these organic compounds contain their specific functional group homologous series it is a important property of this organic compounds and uh, a series of organic compound each containing a characteristic functional group and the successive member differ from each other in the molecular formula by ch2 it makes the molecular weight 14 carbon 12 carbon 12 and two hydrogen molecular weight 14 and this is called as a homologous series means each and every organic compound it form homologous series means alkene alkene alkyne they shows their homologous series in the homologous series all the member of the homologous series they are represented by the same general formula and this uh, see here example for this homologous series the two adjacent uh, homologous series they are differed by the one carbon atom and two hydrogen atom see this is the homologous series for the alkene ethene having c2h4 propene c3h6 now see the here for the ethene carbon two numbers and here carbon three means it increases by the one carbon atom H four and six increases by the two hydrogen. See each and every member. Suppose you are taken here hexene, which having the formula C six H twelve. So for the heptene C seven H fourteen means differ by a group C H two molecular weight fourteen. So each and every member of this family with the previous one and the next one they are differ by a fixed group C H two, and uh, they form this series is called as the homologous series. so this is a very important property of organic compound homologous series now see uh, some more example for this homologous series for the we are taking here alcohols for the alcohols methanol ch3oh ethanol c2h5oh propanol c3h7oh butanol c4h9oh so these are the family members of this uh, alcohol and uh, see the first member member ch3oh and the second is the c2h5oh it contain four hydrogen it contain six hydrogen means hydrogens are increased by the two it contain one carbon it two means the number of carbon atom increases by one so here you can take any example from the carboxylic acid ethionic acid and propionic acid they are differed by a group ch2 propionic acid butanic acid differ by a group ch2 so this is called as a homologous series and uh, shown by these organic compounds so this is all about the just basic introduction and the general uh, characteristics and importance of organic compounds thank you